2023 anime has been really good. I don't really watch seasonal anime, but I decided this year I'm going to watch at least a few of the 2023 anime. And I got into heavily delusion a really good anime and another anime i decided to watch is hell's paradise because it's been on my bucket list i read like part like chapter one of the manga but i just never got into it but since the anime is out i might as well do a video on it if you guys like this video make sure you like subscribe and let's begin hell's paradise has got to be the most wild anime i've seen straight to the point the action scenes were amazing to watch and the anime makes it seem like getting your head chopped off is the most graceful thing ever. I'm going to try not to spoil too much about it, but all I'm going to say is if you watch this anime, do not get attached to certain characters because no one is safe in Hell's Paradise. Well, except the main characters, Dabumaru and Shigeru. Dabumaru the Hollow is something to be executed, but nothing seems to kill him due to the fact that he has a superhuman body. They try cutting his head burning him but later in the series you realize why that didn't work on him and they even try pulling a buffalo to tear his legs apart when they got to do when i saw that scene i felt that pause but after trying all that government who just wanted to die figure started interviewing and asking him about his past government who says he's been taken from his parents as a child by the the, ch the village chief and trained to become a killer. He is known as Gamaru the Hall. He also says he wanted to cut ties with the village and live a normal life. The chief arranged for him to be captured and set this to death. Gamaru just give up anything and wanted to die. Sigari questioned on why he wanted to die. Does he have anybody in his life that he would rather live for? Garamaru says that no, he just wants to die. As the final attempt to execute Garamaru the Hollow, they put Siguri up to kill him. And Siguri attempts to kill him, but for some reason Garamaru moves out the way. Even though a few episodes, few minutes ago, he wanted to live. And he's saying to himself, why do I want to live? Why am I moving? Why am I doing it? And it comes to the flashback of his wife. And he never told Shiguri this. He only told him that, told her that she was annoying, so he didn't want to deal with it. But during the flashbacks, it's seen that they grew a really good connection. And to, uh, Garimaru wanted to change. So that's why he wanted to go to the village chief to cut ties so they could live a normal life. And Shiguri is like, it's obviously that you don't want to die. There is someone out there that you are living for and wants to see. And then Shigeri tells him there's an opportunity for you to live a normal life. Come with me to an island to where the elixir of life is. And if you get it and you bring it to the emperor or whatever he is, I don't really remember. But if you bring it to him, you get pardoned. All your crimes will be pardoned. And Garumaru kindly accepts because of the fact that he wants to be with his wife. And watching that was just another thing because Garumaru was literally trained to be a killer. So he's not allowed to show emotion. He's not allowed to show an instant of emotion because it will show his weakness. And that's what the chief instilled that into him. He instilled that. If you show off your weakness, you'll be easily defeated. And I love that. I love the fact that, you know, it shows that your environment, the way your lifestyle is, will affect you going further in your life. And I love the fact that they made Garimaru, you know, even though he's a killer, dude actually has emotions. He just doesn't have, you know, the fundamation, fundamentals to spit it out and let it all out and another thing i wanted to talk about is the you know the second main character or the first one depending on how you see it is sigiri sigiri is a family of executioners who can just chop your head off at, at any time there was one scene that really just blew my head it was a dude i think it was her dad 
who just chopped off his head and the dude was still trying to plead to the uh plead his case and he was just, his head was chopped off and he still bowed and that was probably one of the craziest things i've ever seen in anime even though it's not not the norm you know we've seen a whole bunch of stuff happen in anime but that was just the craziest part Sigiri is the only, second only female in their uh, executional fan family, and people around her keeps telling her that she's only there. A woman should only bear children and nothing else. And she wanted to prove him wrong, but the thing is that she doesn't have the killer instinct as every other assassinator does. She sees the hatred of the people that they kill, and it just gives her. Like, makes her freeze up and there's a bunch of people telling her that she's not right for this job you know do what women do and you know bear children like I said and she just wants to prove them wrong and her pair with Gamimaru is a really good one because Gamimaru is like a strong uh, strong assassin while Suguri is a not so strong but wants to get strong a killing machine meet someone who doesn't have that killing instinct as he does and i love the pairing between them and throughout the series like you see them grow a connection it was really just a executioner and the prisoner but later in the series they got a really good relationship and that's why maybe this video you know makes you want to watch the anime if you guys like this video make sure you like subscribe make sure you guys follow me on kick i'll be streaming on kick and make sure your notifications is on. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.